All right, in this video, I want to show you how to go about finding all the different math symbols that you may end up using in your document. Obviously, I can't make a video for every single one that would take too long. There's this wonderful website called Detextify. Uh, if you just go to Google and type in Detextify, you'll find it. I also have uh, the link included in the information in the description of the video. Basically, you just go to the website and say you want to draw, you know, the omega symbol. Wait a moment. And there it is, up omega, omega, OHM. And not only that, but it tells you uh, what mode that you need to be in or what package you need to use. For instance, use package up Greek. Well, if you want to use up omega, you have to use this package. If you want to use ohm, you have to use gen sim. If you want to use this, you have to use this package. This one's in math mode. That means it's default. So so long as you have uh, AMS math, you'll be fine. So let's go and um, here is the omega symbol. Since it's in math mode, I have to put it in dollar signs, and I'm using AMS symbols and AMS math use packages. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's typeset it. And there is the omega symbol, exactly as we uh, wanted. And you can do all the usual things to it. I can take, I can take uh, the square root of omega if I want. I can make it into a fraction. So I'll make that the denominator, the numerator of a fraction, omega over 2, square root omega over 2. And I want to make it a big fraction, so I'll make it defraction. We're kind of putting together all the different things that we've learned, and there you go. Um, that's the basic idea behind Detextify. Uh, we can do this for pretty much anything that you'd want to include in math, um, like, say, uh, the sigma symbol, the summation symbol. Uh, there we go. And this is probably the one we're looking for, sum. So let's go and do that real quick. Uh, and let's just put that in front of there. The sum of the fraction of all that. I don't have any indices or anything. I'm just demonstrating that you can include these symbols uh, as you like. So there you go. I hope you have fun with it. The website is called Detextify. Definitely bookmark it if you're going to be using LaTeX a lot. And I hope you found this helpful.